All right, now we're at the point where we're ready to uh, pull our engine. It has got dark, and, uh, dark on us in the past two hours because we had to run after uh, parts and engine seals, which, you know, with this kind of thing, it takes longer to wait for parts than it does to put them together. So, please excuse the darkness, but this is still on the same day. We got our trusty uh, $150 Harbor Freight engine crane that has pulled more Subaru engines out than most people have had Subarus. What we're doing right now is we're trying to separate the bell housing because it's typical that a motor that hasn't been pulled before sticks at the uh, dowel pins in the bell housing. Um, other than that, we have the engine slung from the crane, transmission on the jack, and we just need to pry it off the bell housing and, and let it walk forward about six inches and lift her on up. Side down a little bit. All right, where's that other blue one at? All right, folks. Everything else is all crane and wiggle. She separated down off that dowel. It should be, can you tell? It looks like it. Let's see if I can. All right. Get that torque converter. For it to go all the way, you gotta kinda turn it, but we just wanna make sure it's not stuck to the engine. Mm -hmm. But the, the studs, we'll wanna catch on it too as you go up, so we don't want that thing hanging out too far. All right, now we're free. Let me uh, get that torque converter spun back in. There we go, there's our bell housing coming apart. All right, the studs are free from the bell housing. The torque converter should be flush with the inside of the transmission bell housing. Sometimes it's a bitch to get in there, which I'm probably not going to be able to get it from this direction. So I'll work the motor. You work the crane. If you pump it up for me, I'll just hold it out of the way till it clears. Second, swing the air box out of the way. All right, continue. Now, when you're pulling your motor, you want to make sure that uh, your water pump studs and your oil pump sending unit don't catch the front of the car as you go up. And as you go up, just look for anything that you forgot to disconnect. Sometimes I forget to disconnect the brake booster line. And you definitely don't want to forget to disconnect the throttle cable. All right, we're clear of the tranny. We can just keep coming up to a clear uh, top of the car here. All right. All right, now we have our E82 motor out of the car entirely. Uh, due to the uh, the way it was tied to the chain, it rotated around, so it's actually, you're looking at it backwards in relation to the car. But this is what we uh, had for a motor down here. And then um, this is what we have for clearance here. And we're just gonna slide right over the top of that with this here Harbor Freight crane. And have ourselves a super motor. Down in a five gallon bucket is a stand, and it's on to the timing belts and engine seals. Why?